Welcome back to Shy is the Limit. If you're new here, this is where we talk about film, photos, and tech. And together, let's figure out ways to be more creative and productive at work and in our passion projects. Today, I'm super excited because I'm going to be talking about speed ramping. It's one of my favorite effects when I'm shooting drone shots and editing dance sequences. So let me show you a quick tutorial on speed ramping. Let's get started. So here's how I use the speed ramp effect. I have a clip here of me using a photography smoke bomb. I want to make the clip go fast, then slow down where I have a bunch of clips of the smoke really streaking in the air. So what I do first is I scrub through the clip and select M on the keyboard and leave a bunch of markers. So I want the clip to go fast here at first and then slow down, maybe right around here. So I'm going to click M to leave a marker and I want it to go slow and stop right there. Click M again to put a marker and now I want it to go faster around here and then slow again around here. So another marker and make it go slow there and then allow it to go fast again all the way till it ends. So now what I want to do is go right above my clip and select shift B and if you see it cut the clip here in terms of where you can manipulate the speed now you can make it go slower by percentage or faster two times four times eight times and 20 times leave it normal or if you click custom put a custom speed and you can control the rate and percentage here but before we do that let's put a few more breaks wherever we put a marker. So I'm going to go over this marker, shift B again, go over this marker, shift B, go over this marker, shift B. Now, if you recall, I wanted it to slow down here where the break is small and I wanted it to be fast where the breaks are big. So let's go ahead and slow down these areas. Let's say 50% slower. I also want to slow down this clip. 50% slower. And then now I want to make this part faster at the beginning. Let's say four times faster. And then I want to make this part faster in the middle and the end. So let's select faster four times. And let's select faster four times here. Now the reason you see this gray part in the middle is because you can control how smooth the break is. If you want the transition to be very quick and jumpy, you make this shorter. But if you want it to be smoother and have it blend in more, you want to make sure this area is much longer connecting your clips. I like it much smoother. So I'm going to extend these. And that's pretty much it. So let's allow this to render and then we'll play the clip. So I'm going to lower the volume here and let's allow this to render. Then I'm going to play the clip. And that's how you speed ramp. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on speed ramping. But better yet, I hope it sparks some ideas of some new things you can shoot for your new projects and to add to your portfolio. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe so I can keep making videos like these for our creative community. And please check out my other tutorials and Swift tips. I'll see you next time.